Hi, Brian from Workspace Admins here. Today we'll show you how to use Got Your Back, uh, which is a tool developed by JLE to backup and restore messages. So if you are not familiar with his name, he is also the developer GAM. So this is a tool uh, that's uh, trusted and used by many administrators for Google Workspace. So I have the GitHub wiki open here on the right hand side. So I'll just copy this command here and install this into uh, this Cloud Shell here for today. Uh, so I'll just add dash L at the end. So I will just install it without authorization or project creation process. So when you install it, it gets installed into your bin so I'll just check that it is now indeed installed. So if I look inside bin directory here, you will see that I have GAM and Got Your Back installed. So the first thing that you'll want to do is uh, Got Your Back uses uh, both JSON files uh, that GAM uses. So one is client underscore secrets.json and the other is OAuth2.service, OAuth2.service.json. So the main difference is clients underscore secrets allows you to backup or restore your own mailbox. So that is called client access and service account access, which uses OAuth2Service.json uses what's called domain-wide delegation. So that will allow you to interact with users' mailboxes without having to log into their account. So that's something to keep in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and copy .json files. So I'll copy so I'll first just navigate to my home here and I'll go to that GAM folder, which is where the GAM or advanced GAM JSON files are. So I'll copy both files into home slash bin slash got your back. So the files are now copied over. So I, what I'll now do is check service account access. So because I have authorized service account for GAM, I'm expecting some of the scopes to pass. So I'll do got your back dash dash email, which and provide my email address, Brian under, Brian at workspace admins.org dash dash action, check dash service account. So as expected, a couple of scopes pass. So mail and user info that email pass because those are the scopes that GAM uses. However, for the groups migration or drive that app data, these are new scopes that must be authorized. So if you click on this short link here that JE provides, so this will overwrite uh, the authorization due that you have set up for GAM. So if you're using the same project uh, we or same project or same service account, uh, we recommend adding these scopes manually, which what which is what we'll do. So I'll just go ahead and copy this um, API scope here. I'll edit this one for GAM and I'll add it at the bottom and I'll repeat the same process for the drive.app data. And I didn't want to open that, but that's fine. So now I've gone ahead and authorized it. I'll close this, close that. And now I'll rerun previous command. And as you can see, now Got Your Bag is fully authorized for Workspace Admins, to work, workspace admins domain. So on the right hand side here, I'm signed in using my brand as Brian, the spoofer at gmail.com address. So I'm going to first back up the messages uh, from this mailbox. So I'll cd back home. So I have folders here for the folder here called backup, but I'll just uh, delete it first and then just recreate it. So the folder is now gone. I'll just create another one called backups. So there is an empty directory. Now I'm going to go your back email brand at workspace. Oops, brand the spoofer at workspace. Oops, gmail.com. That's what I'll do. So it'll give me another link to open because this is now using um, client access. So I'll give it full access to the mailbox. So instead of clicking on the link, I will copy this and I don't want to do that. So I'll paste that into my incognito window here. 
So the first error message that we see is because this uh, OAuth content screen was configured for internal users only. However, I'm using this with a Gmail account, so I have to make it external. So I make it external and I mark it as in production, so confirm. So if you are doing, if you are doing this for your internal users, this won't be an issue. So I'll just go ahead and paste the link again and that error message is now gone. However, um, it is now showing a different error message, but you can uh, proceed to the next screen here. So you will need to select the scopes here. So Gmail, uh, drive.appdata, and uh, Google Groups, although we won't be using that today. So those are the additional scopes that you need to trust. And just con click Continue, and copy, and paste this <coughs> value back into your terminal. So as you can see, uh, got your back backed up these 10 messages. So I'll just show you the messages that are here. So if I CD into or LS here, you will see that got your back created a new folder called gyb-gmail-backup followed by the email address. So let's look inside the folder and you will see a SQLite database as well as a folder by the year so let's go inside the folder. So you will see the months. So I have messages from October and November. So I'll go to November. And I have some messages from today, which is November 21st, CD21. So it looks like I have three messages from today. So that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to try to restore this into my Gmail mailbox for workspace admins. So mail.google.com. I'll do u slash one because I am in I I'm signed to multiple accounts, so I didn't want to open my personal. So the now the command is got your back. Well, let's go back into the backups folder. So now the command is gyb dash dash email, and I want to restore to plan at workspace admins.org user and action is now restore and local folder and I need to specify the folder so gib dash gmail with capital M it is case sensitive and I'll use service account and I'll also specify a label and give it a label called Brian the Spoofer. So this will restore messages inside the local folder to Brian at workspaceadmins.org and give it a label. So let's see what that looks like. So restore process usually takes longer than backing up messages. So that's something to keep in mind. So if I go to my inbox here, you will now see a new label. So let's just refresh. So you have a, I now have a label called Brian, Brian the spoofer, which I didn't have before. And as you can see, I can see the messages that was in front, that was imported from got your back. So that includes the messages that was in the inbox as well as the sent items. So this is how you use got your back to backup messages and restore messages. So today we showed you how to do that using both the client access and service account access. So I hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe to our channel. If you have, have any questions, leave us comments below and we will get back to you. Thank you.